If she hadn't been squeaking so loud, he wouldn't even know she was there. Completely lost. She needed help. Probably about a week and a half. I got her comfortable and then reassessed what I needed to do. That was an around the clock thing. Trying to feed her feisty self. It was so demanding. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Not anymore. She was a real ball of energy. Looks like the left eye is turning open a little bit. I could see her will to live, and that's what kept me going. Her name came Feisty because of how feisty she was. I'm feisty. Yeah, she sure likes to gnaw on my skin. And then her hair started growing in. She's gonna show you the elevator trick, okay? Start walking around on her own in the little habitat I built. She very quickly became very comfortable. <laughs> it didn't take very long at all to become emotionally invested. My cat, Sammy, she would not get along with Feisty. Yeah. But Feisty, she doesn't seem scared at all. She's very just inquisitive. Feisty doesn't seem to mind too much, though. I knew I didn't want to release her. Most mice don't make it very long in the wild. I just couldn't do it. But at the same time, I didn't want her to be unhappy. And I certainly didn't want to be the only thing that she ever knew. I introduced Feisty to the two mice. I check on them and they're snuggled together. She knows who I am and they have this bond. If you had asked me at the very start of this journey whether I could ever feel you know, love for a mouse, I would say, well, no, it's just a mouse. No, because they have such distinct personalities. I know that they value their lives just as much as any other animal.